perfect day to go up to the lake. Do some fishing. Lay on the beach. Cruise in the boat. Perfect. One wish for today. What was that? No rain for the boat ride. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> well, moment of truth. Let's see if our windows stayed dry. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look like anything got in there. You're the master carpenter. Oh, I'm pretty sure like 500 people already said that joke. I'll take this moment to thank Cool for making me look so cool. Definitely loving this. Toasty warm. Like, and a good amount. Look at the rams just float there. Oh. How are we gonna put scaffold? Look at the skiff. How are we gonna put? <laughs> we can literally float it. I remember people commenting like, "You should just float your dock into its new position." I was like, <laughs> "Dumbass." Now look at me. <laughs> we could probably float it in a position. Oh man. Tent still there. Yeah. The plug torn. Cabin's still there. That's a given. Oh, the tarp tore off that log finally. Oh yeah. The shelter. Alrighty. <sighs> Pivot!
classic log cabin style. Yeah. For those of you who are wondering how to get a wet, soggy bonfire going, the only way is to start a fire, a small fire with dry wood next to or under underneath part of the pile and just let it grow into the pile. You know, gas and diesel and that sort of stuff might work in the summertime when your pile's dry, but I could pour a whole jerry can of gas on this thing and it would not light it. But this little fire will slowly grow into it. And she'll be ablaze in an hour or two. Stack it up. Beautiful day, time to put some windows in. Gonna set this thing up here, trace it out where I want it to go, and then I gotta cut a hole through the ship lap to drop this window in like that. And then we gotta build a two by four frames. We're ripping down some two by four to three inches. And then we're going to build a frame around each one of the windows on the outside that we can slide the window frame in between. That's going to act as backing for the trim and the strapping and, and then we can foam around them whatever gap is left. So we got a little bit of screwing and framing to do today. Let's get to it. Side of the pencil line just so I have about an eighth wiggle room. The bottom I'll cut right on this joint so that'll the window will sit on that nice and level and we'll have a little bit of wiggle room so I'm not having to hammer it in there and the trim will overlap and cover all the screws because we're gonna screw a wood 2x4 frame right around the window that we'll be able to butt the insulation and strapping and everything onto and then uh, so we'll have some screws going through here, but that'll all get covered by well, like a three inch trim or something like that. Oh, don't knock over the window frames, cameraman. Less cameraman. No! <laughs> you like that one, huh? Hey? Oh, you're pretty clever with that. Sorry, I lost my temper. <laughs> whispering shit he was chirping at me and I just had to put him in his place you know can't put up with no disrespect on the job site <laughs>
frame completo el frame out por favor Missing something though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, glass. <laughs> That'll be my Christmas present. Glass is coming in at Christmas time. Leave a comment down below if you think the glass will actually be ready before Christmas or probably the end of January. I think my bet would be the end of January. <laughs> So I cut a little step around the window framing five eighths of an inch because I hadn't really designed my windows at that point. But then when I built my windows, the frames are an inch and a half thick. And so in order to get them to fit inside that opening tight to the timber frame, I'm gonna have to cut a small rebate all around the front edge of the window here, just so that it'll notch over top of the shiplap siding. I could have cut the shiplap further away, but I'd already nailed it right where I cut. So I'd have to pull all those nails out and then cut it. It's easier to just cut the frame. So that's what I'm doing. A plan comes together.